Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Art Book Addiction here, and we're here with a new Artist Joy video. So today, we're gonna be talking about creating life, okay? There's usually a moment when you're creating something, when you're making a painting, making a character design, where um, your character, your, your, your environment, an animal or whatever, creature design, it comes to life. Okay, it, it, it starts to breathe on its own. And um, for me as an artist, that usually is like the sign, like, hey, you're almost done, okay? Um, for me, it usually comes at the end of the process. The second the character comes alive, you know you've, okay, you're like, you, you don't want to touch anymore because you could overdo it, right? Um, but we'll be talking about that beautiful moment when life comes into your designs, into your characters, into your whatever, right? And uh, that's what we'll be talking about today. But before we start the video, please hit that like, hit that subscribe, check out my Prince and Patreon if you want to support the channel, and become consider becoming a channel member, right? And with that, let's get into it. <clears throat> so, breathing life into your designs. It is, I would say, for me, the, the, the kind of like the, the, the end point. You know what I mean? It's, it's the spot where you're, you just, you want it, you want to hit that and then just leave it, okay? Um, I've seen many designers who have, you know, they've, they've gotten to that point and they've kind of over, overworked it, okay? I've seen it many times and like a lot of people, they think that adding stuff will make it better and usually that, that isn't the case. Sometimes the, the, the best designs are the simple designs, okay? Simplicity um, is not an easy thing to achieve. It may look simple, right? But making something look simple versus it actually being simple are two different things, okay? Because sometimes there's a design that's actually much more complex than you would uh, initially believe, okay? And maybe it required many iterations to get to that point okay so it's 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 not really an easy thing to achieve so and when you when you when you're going through the process of making characters you know starting off with the silhouette you know you're you're, you're making the line work okay you're starting to figure out like what outfit they're wearing you know you, you got to look at that <clears throat> as all the build-up to the point where your character at the climax comes alive right and that's the best stuff dude that's really what you want and so like you know when a movie hits the climax and then like it just continues and then goes on and on and has like five different endings at the end okay the batman okay i didn't really think it was that good um it was okay it was okay but that's the whole point of not overworking okay um, there's different people who are like, um, your work is never done, okay? You can always design more. You can always cre keep creating more. And I, I don't agree with that. I really don't. I think there's a moment where the magic hits and the second the magic hits, you want to just, you want to be like, okay, I'm, 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 I am landing this plane now, okay? I am no longer in the air. I'm no longer trying to arise. I'm, I'm descending and I'm, and I'm entering the landing zone okay because you don't you don't want to stay in the air forever you know you don't like like there there it comes an end okay there's people who like there's artists who believe that like a piece can can never be perfected and that's true and that's true right a piece can never be perfected but there has to become an end okay because if you keep working on something it just becomes mush okay um, I didn't want to talk about, I didn't want to make this talk about overworking because I, I talk about overworking all the time, but you know, it's so essential to like that magic spot. Okay. The reason it's magic is because there's like, maybe it's too early and then you, and then you stop and then it, it doesn't have the life. Right. Um, or you go too far and then the magic's gone. So you got to know that there is that little, that little spot. Okay, that little like that perfect moment in your design where the life comes through and sometimes like, it comes uh, in the sketch sometimes it comes in the final render okay you never really know 
okay and i'm not telling you to like not finish your work okay because the the you, you need to be able to um go through the entire process and understand like you know that there is parts of the thing that 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 do come to life okay so like if your sketch if you hit that point in the sketch where it comes to life you're like okay that's i should end that part of the sketch okay then you enter your refined line drawing okay and then you you use the line right to get to that spot where you really feel like it's good and then uh, once you find that successful it may not come to life at that moment either okay but you you bring in the colors you bring in the shading you bring in you know the, the render and at some point during the render um, this usually applies more to painting okay so because simple designs um, that's that's more in line with the drawing because the drawing is the more important part but the the, the color does have a point where it's like it, it comes to life and it like it really imbues the the character with a sense of of, of uh, placement you know a sense of like there it is because a line drawing is is incomplete okay and i'm not saying like you know you can't you know you can't just make a line drawing and like that's not good enough but it, it, it you, for me the color sets the character in its place and you know like okay now i know what the character is and i know what they look like and i know their colors right so but like i was saying when it comes to painting there is um there's so much render there's so much like layers of uh of, of like doing things right doing things wrong messing up and and that's where like the mush happens that's where like you could you could paint things into mush and that's where things can go awry so when i say painting i mean like including digital painting i'm talking about render okay i'm talking about uh creating form okay making like a 2d character look a little bit more 3d or you know what have you okay you know you know what i mean when i'm when i'm talking about painting i'm talking about you're you're, you're actually like doing like the real render part okay that's where things like this can really become messy so you got to be careful you really got to be careful but i would say that you you go through your process okay you, everyone has their own process you want to go through the process and eventually you what you want is to land the the end okay when you eat when you've reached the end of the render okay and how do you know where the end of the render is is when the piece comes to life okay and that's just when it when it does you'll know okay you'll just know you'll and 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 your instincts will tell you okay listen to your instincts they know more than you okay they know what is right and wrong when something comes to life and when something doesn't so for instance this piece right here um initially i was going to uh render it like to the like t to the like the most it could possibly go and there was a point where um not 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 quite not quite to that point but like a little bit like like right here my brain was like just stop it's it's working it's 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 alive you feel it and those moments are when i needed to trust myself trust my instincts trust my my you know my monkey brain and say like that, that stop and that's exactly what i did and i stopped and i am so thankful for that because um there was another painting that i did where I decided to ignore my own instincts and push a little bit further than I normally would and it resulted in in something that I felt like was weaker than it could have been if I just stopped earlier okay and you know it's just it's just proof that you know sometimes you you like in, in most cases you got to follow your instinct okay and sometimes your instinct will push you further Sometimes your instinct would be like, hold you back, okay? But like I said, the the marker for that, the marker for where you want to put that is when the piece comes to life. When the piece takes a life of its own, 
okay? And that's really like the mark of a great artist, okay? That's when your character design comes to life, okay? And you can just imagine what they're doing. And, or, or you have two characters and you can could, you could immediately see the, re the reactions, okay? And <clears throat> this is a good way to really know if your characters are coming to life is that you show like your friends or you show other artists like your character designs okay and um they could just look at them and then just imagine scenarios okay they they just like okay oh, like, oh and this could happen and then this could happen and then like their brain like this this works really good great for artists because like you know we naturally decide to characterize things Okay, so we, we could bring these characters together and you're like, hey, look at these characters, check them out. And then and then maybe you could start it off. Maybe you could start it off with like, oh, this is this character. Um, they do this, this, you know, and then um, another, like I said, an, an, a, another great way for them to, fi if you, for you to figure out that like your character's coming to life is someone sees a character and then like the voice comes out. You know, they're like, like, I see this character, oh, he talks like this, you know, or this character's like, hey, he talks like this, you know, and then, and like, you immediately, like, it's the, the play begins, okay, and you're like, you, you know what this character's about, you know what that character's about, boom, together, now, like, you know that this character's gonna bug this character, and this character is gonna be irritated by this character, okay, and then there's the, the fun in that, okay, so it's, it's, it, it, it takes a life of its own, and like, in a way, um, you don't really choose that, you know, the character itself, like, came to life, and it's not like you, you know, maybe it's, like, things that, like, you know, you have facets of yourself in there, but, um, it's not, like, it's, it's not, like, an OC, it's not, like, like, oh, this is my character, it's, like, it's not, like, a Mary Sue, it's, it's a part of you, but it's its own thing, okay, it's like a child, okay, I, I always look at my art, like, very similar to, like, children, where you're kind of just guiding it. You're just guiding it to the spot where it could shine, okay? And before that, it's just, you know, it's just kind of like, you know, a stiff character design, you know? And it just, it's it's waiting for you to, you know, imbue it, imbue it, imbue it, imbue it. And sometimes it takes longer, sometimes it's right away. And when these things happen, all I gotta say is, don't question it, don't question it trust in the process okay when it's earlier just don't question that just be like hey it came earlier i'm fine with that other characters it's gonna take a while it's, you're gonna take you're gonna require um many many variations okay when i when i say just not I, I, when i talk about these um characters i'm not just talking about characters i'm talking about environments as well i'm talking about props i'm talking about like um you know, all, all forms of design. There's a moment in the design where it comes to life, okay? But when I say characters, I'm just talking about characters because they're the most easy to understand what I'm talking about, okay? So like, you know, for character, so if you're like an environment designer, understand and apply what I'm trying to say to your, to your environment designs, okay? Not just for characters, okay? But I'm saying characters, you know, because it makes sense, because characters, you know, come to life. So these characters, they, they, they have that moment. They have that moment where they're like, they spark up, okay? And they just move on their own. And you could just start imagining scenarios. It's really great because like in your mind, um, the story will start playing itself out, okay? It will start, and, and like you, this is where influences come in, okay? And you may not know where the influences are from. This is why it's important to consume, um, you know, like, good good work okay because this all becomes part of the soup that that where your mind and imagination can come in and then they create these characters so it's almost like a mystery where these characters come from and like that's why if you like if you're making a design and it's like it doesn't really come from imagination or like like it just like it doesn't like strike you um, it's usually like a contrived design. You're like, oh, I want to do this thing, and it's like, it, there's too much you in it. You know, like, you controlled it too much, okay? You want these things to kind of come out of spontaneity, you know, like, 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 many character designs that I've made, 
they they just came out of my brain you know just like like here character and i'm like like what like okay sure you know and i just trust in the process okay trust in the process get to that spot and then i i just know that this character that just came out of my brain okay uh is is being formed right now it's being formed it's being sculpted okay and then once it's on its own there you go you let it run you like you, you raise your child up okay to the point where it could do its do its thing and you just let it go let it let it continue okay you don't you don't want to control it you don't want to keep you know fidgeting oh, maybe it could be better maybe it could be better. and then you and you just ruin it okay so that's why it's important to um to prevent this for those who overwork okay um you'll want to maybe keep different versions of your designs because sometimes you'll find one that really really works and you'll you'll push another one you're like oh i like this one more and then you, you it, it kind of like nah, i don't know that's when you could go back and then look at a previous design and you're like okay well that one that one really had something and then you take that one farther and then it, and then that one works and that's the one that, that continues you never you never really know exactly where these things will line up okay so you need to really feel it out okay that's the number one it's all about feel it's not about like technical proficiency it's not about um like knowing like like bringing out the exact thing in your mind okay because paintings will change that's like that's part of the mystery okay uh art will change the the conversion from your mind to the canvas are gonna be two separate things and that's wonderful because then it's still a mystery okay like maybe you think the thing you think in your brain's like whoa it's way better than like it came out to be but maybe your design as a result is simpler and speaks to people more okay but the the action of taking an idea in your brain bring it out ha and, and taking it to the point where it comes alive that's wonderful okay and for me it's one of the best reasons to become an artist okay it's taking ideas bring it out building it up and setting it free okay and the best ideas will, will speak to people and like you know your character design who knows what happens okay like <laughs> sonic okay um it, it, it's it's the design is so good sonic's design is so good that no nobody cares about how bad um like the games are okay you know they've had like you know they, i know the new movies are like better but they've had like bad movies they've had like shitty shows you know like really bad comics and nobody cares nobody really cares because the design is so good because the character came to life and spoke to the heart of the person and that means that like anybody's design can do that okay you never really know which is and like you know it, it doesn't have to be popular for it to for for it to have that quality okay but you can look at design and you see the character and you're like like that i know what that character is about okay and then you see an like you know a, a another design where you're like that's lame i don't like that okay and then maybe they're very similar but this character just has that right amount of magic okay they hit that spot and they left it alone okay they let they let they let the thing go and live its life okay so if you're if you're designing characters if you're designing environments what have you okay know that moment figure out that moment and and tune your instincts okay tune them to when you hit that moment realize that you're 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 about to land okay you're you're it's not like maybe you need to do a little like maybe a little thing here and there but you're you're in the descent okay you've you've reached the destination okay and just just land the plane finish off the design and let it be okay because that's when it came to life right that's when the magic hit all right um but yeah i think we could end the video here guys uh please if you enjoyed this video hit that like hit that subscribe check out my prince of patreon if you want to support the channel uh ring that bell for notification all that bullshit and i'll catch you guys on the next one thanks a lot